Hola amigos, en la lección anterior leímos datos biográficos y practicamos haciendo preguntas utilizando las palabras WH, es decir, what, where, when, who y why. Repasemos un fragmento del episodio anterior para recordar. At the Seaview Hotel. When did you go to Tulum? A few days later. ¿Ya se acordaron de cómo usamos las WH words o palabras sobre información específica para hacer preguntas del pasado? Sigan atentos, que ya empezamos la siguiente lección. Unit 5, Lesson 21. Who was the last Aztec emperor? Emplearán was, where, para hacer preguntas acerca de personalidades del pasado. En esta ocasión, vamos a aprender cómo preguntar por la vida de personajes destacados del pasado. Esto también nos va a servir para formular preguntas sobre cualquier persona. Hi, Antonio. Can you help ¿Eh? me? I'm trying to solve a puzzle. Mm, sure, Pecky. What kind of puzzle? A crossword puzzle. Mm -hmm. Here, I'll ask you first. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Who mm -hmm. were the inventors of the airplane? Mm -hmm. The Wright brothers, I think. Mm -hmm. They were the Wright brothers. <laughs> the Wright brothers? Let me see. Yes, that's right. Next. 14 down. Who was the last Aztec emperor? The last Aztec emperor? Mm -hmm. You should know that, Peggy. But okay, I'll help you. It was Cuauhtémoc. Cuauhtémoc? Yes, that's correct. You are a genius, <laughs> Antonio. It's history, Peggy. You should try to study more. I know. <laughs> I will study more. But right now, I need to finish the puzzle. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Antonio. Hi, Peque. Hi, Jero. It's good that you're here. I'm doing a crossword puzzle. Maybe you can help me with one or two of the questions. Of course. I like crossword puzzles. What's the next clue? <laughs> Who was the author of the novel? Pedro Paramo. <laughs> you should know that too, Peque. I won't help you with that one. to finish this. Can you help me, Hero? It was Juan Rulfo. <laughs> Juan Rulfo. Great! It's almost finished. But I agree with Antonio, Peque. Mm. Maybe you need to study harder. Mm. Maybe you should help your rebels with that, Hero. Mm. Ask them questions on the air. Let them answer by phone or on the Radio Rebelde blog. Mm. Thanks, Antonio. I like that idea. Maybe we can ask questions about famous people. What do you say, Peque? Fine. I guess it will be an opportunity to learn a lot about famous people from history. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm sure it will, Cristal. And it's going to be fun also. <laughs> Let's prepare it then. <laughs> How's it going, Sara? Cristal called me. She said you have an idea for the show. Tell me about it. 
Yes, we are organizing a contest about the past, you know? We can ask questions about great people. What kind of people? Mm, historical people. We can ask questions like, who was the first man to walk on the moon? Was Neil Armstrong the first man to walk on the moon? Yes, he was, Sara. I have another question. Sarasvati, who were the creators of the Olympic Games? Mm, I don't know. Who? The English? No, they weren't. They were the ancient Greeks. I don't know much about history, I suppose. Don't worry, Sara. Let's write some questions and answers. That way, we can all learn a lot. What do you say? Fine, Hero. And those who answer, what do they get? Mm, I'm not sure. What do you think? Why don't we let them choose a song that they can listen to on Radio Rebelde? Right! I like that. Let's start. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hello, Jimena. Can you help me? Sure, Cristal. What is it? We're writing some questions for our show on Radio Rebelde. They're questions about historical people. It sounds interesting. So, what can I do for you? Could you answer some of these questions? Like... Who was the artist who painted the Mona Lisa? Easy. It was Leonardo da Vinci. Leonardo da Vinci. Mm. Right. Was he Italian? Yes, he was, Peque. Another question. Who were the first people to wear clothes? Mm. I don't know, Peke. I don't think you can answer that. Mm -hmm. I will have to investigate. No, don't worry. I'll change that one. <laughs> Hi, girls. Mm -hmm. What are you doing? I'm helping Crystal with some questions. <laughs> are you still doing that, Peke? Hmm. You can help me too, Antonio. Tell me, was Agustin de Iturbide the first mm. president of Mexico? Mm. Come on, Peque. You should know that. But uh -huh. I'll tell you. No, he wasn't. Mm. The first president of Mexico was Guadalupe Victoria. Mm -hmm. mm. Now, help me with the next one. Mm. Who was the inventor of the telephone? Mm. Mm. It was Alexander Graham Bell. Mm -hmm. Have all the questions I need. Mm -hmm. But fine, I'll do it. Can I use the computer? Sure, Peke. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Jimena. We're back. <laughs> we are listening to some stories. <laughs> this is part of our contest Tell Us Your Story. <laughs> but today, we have a game for you. <laughs> That's right, Hero. We have some questions for you. These are questions about famous <laughs> people in history. Mm-hmm. That's correct. <laughs> Those who answer them correctly will choose a song <laughs> and we will play it. <laughs> Crystal, the first question, please. <laughs> okay, it says... Was Lázaro Cárdenas the president of Mexico before the revolution? <laughs> Thanks for the question, Peque. <laughs> we can wait for the answer. <laughs> we will. <laughs> hey, it's a phone. Someone's calling. <laughs> I'll get it. Hello? Who is it? Uh, it's Pablo. I'm calling from Carrillo Puerto in Quintana Roo. Was it... Uh, maybe... Come on, don't be shy. Tell us, was Lázaro Cárdenas the president before the revolution? Uh, no, he wasn't. The president of Mexico before the revolution was Porfirio Díaz. Yes! That is correct! Congratulations, Pablo! <laughs> Tell us a song and you will hear it on the next show! Mm, I would like to hear Un Grito en la Noche with Alejandra Guzmán. Perfect! You'll get it! Well, we have time for one more question. Peque, please. <laughs> okay, here it goes! Who was called the father of our nation? His first name is Don Miguel. Ah, <laughs> oh, Cristal, that's too easy. You didn't have to say the first name. 
<laughs> but okay, we'll wait for the answer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, it's here. Who is it? <laughs> Hello, I'm Kike. Was it Don Miguel y Madero? No, mm. he wasn't. Sorry, mm. Kike. That's wrong. Mm. You need to study history. And that was an easy one. So, mm -hmm. we'll wait for the next answer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're waiting. Waiting. Mm -hmm. Who was called the father of our nation? Mm. And it's here. We have the next mm -hmm. answer on Twitter. Mm -hmm. It's Fabiola from Aguascalientes. Mm -hmm. She says, mm -hmm. Don Miguel Hidalgo y Costilla was the father of our nation. Mm -hmm. That is right, of course. Mm -hmm. Congratulations, Fabiola. You can now tell us mm -hmm. the song you want us to play for you on our next show. Mm -hmm. Now we have to take a mm -hmm. break. Mm -hmm. We'll be right back with mm -hmm. another story and more questions. Mm -hmm. <laughs> A continuación, vamos a poner el tema de hoy en práctica con unos breves ejercicios. Se trata de construir la forma interrogativa de un enunciado afirmativo. Vamos a ver un ejemplo. Carl Sagan was a great scientist. La forma interrogativa sería... Was Carl Sagan a great scientist? Observa que lo único que debemos hacer para cambiar una oración afirmativa pregunta es poner primero el verbo to be en pasado, was o where, después el sujeto y por último el complemento. Vamos a los ejercicios. Esta vez es tu turno. She was the queen of England. ¿Cuál sería la forma interrogativa? Was she the queen of England? Vamos a hacer otro. You were my first teacher. ¿Cómo se escribiría este enunciado en forma interrogativa? Were you my first teacher? Veamos algunos ejemplos siguiendo la fórmula gramatical. Was I late? Were you at home? Was Frank in class? Was Mary at school? Para responder una pregunta dependerá del sujeto y de si la respuesta es afirmativa o negativa. Veamos un ejemplo. Was Neil Armstrong the first astronaut? Aquí se indica la respuesta sería negativa. Así que la respuesta corta queda de la siguiente manera. No, he wasn't. Vamos a realizar los siguientes ejercicios. Contesta las preguntas. Was Sor Juana a Mexican poet? Yes, she was. Utilizamos el pronombre personal, she, porque Sor Juana era mujer. Were Pierre and Marie Curie two musicians? No, they weren't. Utilizamos el pronombre personal, they, porque estamos hablando de dos personas, Pierre Curie y Marie Curie. Was John Lennon and George Harrison members of the Beatles? <laughs> yes, they were. <laughs> El día de hoy hemos aprendido a elaborar preguntas usando was o were. De paso, nos dimos tiempo de hacer una breve parada en preguntas de cultura general. En singular, who was. En plural, who were. Así que el aprendizaje fue doble. Esperamos que les haya resultado útil. Por ahora, nos despedimos. Nos vemos la próxima. <risa>